I thought I'd take a minute and show you some of the things you can do with a programmable transmitter. Uh, I've got the Tyrannus uh, from FreeSky, and it's running uh, the OpenTX firmware. The, sim the same firmware, or something awfully like it, runs on the uh, Turnigy 9X uh, or, and 9X Pro. Uh, with the 9X, you have to flash it uh, yourself, but it can run it. Um, and it really gives you a lot of flexibility in how you configure your plane. Uh, here we've got a Bixler 2. Uh, it's a four channel plane with flaps and let me show you some of the stuff I've done. Um, <clears throat> first thing I'll show you is I've got the flaps here on one of the side pots on the Tyrannus and if you watch the elevator you can see that as the flaps go down the elevator goes down as well. That's a pretty basic mix. Uh, it keeps the airplane from ballooning up when the flaps go down. It keeps the extra lift from popping it up in the air. That's a pretty basic thing that you can do on a lot of different radios. Um, another thing that the Tyrannus has, and uh, some of, a lot of the radios that run this firmware that have a three-position switch, is it's got different flight modes. And I've got uh, three flight modes here, one that I call cruise, one that I call climb, and one that I call land. Um, the climb flight mode, what it does is, if we watch this wing, it puts the flaps a little bit down and puts a little bit of camber on the ailerons. So again, if I watch the ailerons, it's, it's just the smallest amount of camber on the ailerons. It actually really doesn't take much. So it puts the flaps down a little bit, just puts a little camber across the whole wing to give some extra lift for climb out. And I've got it set up so that the trim... The elevator doesn't change at all, because uh, in this case, I want it, the airplane to, well, it's not going to balloon exactly, but I do want it to go up. I don't want a down trim to cancel out the extra lift that I get when I go into climb mode. So there's climb. This gives me a little bit extra lift for uh, when, I'm, when I'm hand launching, just to make sure I don't go into the ground. And also, um, especially if you've got this plane outfitted with... FPV gear that uh, it doesn't have a most powerful motor, so it can use a little bit extra help uh, getting up in the air, even when you're just cruising around. The other flight mode that I've got is what I call land, and in land mode, uh, the flaps go down uh, a lot. The elevator has its own trim that's unique to this mode, so separate from cruise mode, um, and what that lets me do is. Uh, I put it in this mode, and then I just use the regular trim switches to trim the plane so that when because those flaps go down a lot, and, and that means that the, the amount of down trim it needs is different. Uh, and so I put in a custom amount of trim. The other thing is that in land mode, I actually want the plane trimmed a little bit down so that it, it tends to lose altitude. I mean, I'm landing, right? So normally I put these flaps down. And if it's trimmed neutral, it just kind of floats and flies forever. So I give it a little bit more down elevator by having this flight mode have its own uh, separate trim setting. And here, I do not put the ailerons down to put camber across the whole wing. And the reason for that is that um, when I'm landing, my airspeed is pretty low. So I don't want to lose any aileron authority. I already have minimal aileron authority. I don't want to lose any aileron authority by co-opting those. Uh, to, to for camber. The other thing is I've got one of these switches set up so that when I pull the switch the ailerons actually go up and act as spoilers and that can be useful if I've got a, a little too much airspeed as I'm coming in for a landing. Um, it can help me get down out of the out of the air pretty quickly. You can also hear the radio beeping right there. I've got it set up with a warning so that when the spoilers are up it beeps at me so I don't accidentally, you know, if I'm flying, accidentally hit that switch and, and not notice that they're up and have a bad situation. So um, I've also, I figured why waste an input? You know, when I go into landing mode, the flaps go down, uh, uh, they go down maybe a little more than halfway. But I figured why waste an input? I've still got this, uh, I've got a potentiometer on the left that normally controls the flaps that I've got set up to give me the last little bit if I want it for something. So let's go back into cruise mode. This is just normal cruise configuration. Uh, and, and there's the, the whole flaps travel. 
Um, let me see. What else have I done with this plane? Another thing I've done with this plane is I've got it set up. I've got the camera set up. I did a clever thing with the camera. So this is camera is actually mounted on a pan tilt uh, servo mount. And the problem is that when it tilts, it can tilt down far enough that it actually bangs against the nose of the plane. And so um, I don't want that, right? I don't want to ruin my servers, servos, uh, strip them out, banging it against the nose of the plane. So I configured the radio with a custom setting so that that is actually all the way down. But if you look as I uh, pivot over, it can look down further because it's got more... Uh, uh, it's got more clearance around the nose. So I've actually got it set up so that it it skims the nose of the plane automatically. So if I'm looking all the way down, if I look to the side, it looks a little further down. Whereas on the upside, on the upside it doesn't really matter. You can look up as much as you want. Anyway, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, those are some things you can do when you've got a programmable radio. Uh, and specifically when you've got a super customizable radio and firmware like the Tyrannus with the OpenTX. Hope you enjoyed it.